All right, guys, there you go. We're going to see if this helps in the future any with chlorosis, with uh, uh, cold tolerance, things like that. We'll keep you posted. Welcome back to Texas Dragon Fruit, guys. We're rooting up some uh, original Haley's Comet, Voodoo Child, some of the other original plants that came from Pine Island Nursery 20 years ago. We we're going to try to develop hybrids that will work in our environment. Now, hopefully, we're going to get going on a greenhouse or a high tunnel and develop something that'll grow and work in the Rio Grande Valley area of Texas where it can sustain a little bit cooler temperatures and some of the heat down here. But hopefully we're gonna get this done. A bunch of cuttings that we're gonna root and I'll show you those right now. This is co Coco Coyer, medium grit, not the, the heavy grit. And we're gonna blend that for our rooting. So guys, this is gonna be equal parts of black hummus burger number six peat moss with some pearl and the coco coir this is just going to be a rooting that's it this is where these things are going to take off they'll probably be here throughout the winter and as soon as spring comes in they're going in all right guys keep you posted so on these uh cuttings i hit these up with a solution I just drizzled it on and every other day I would just wet the base I left them in the box like this wet the base and let them get moist and I want you to see all right so the solution that I'm using guys for these cuttings like I said these are the original cuttings that came off of Pine Island which were Paul Thompson's to my understanding original plants and you know this is Voodoo Child, uh, Purple Haze, the iconic ones that are mostly liked and wanted varieties. Guys I want to show you what I used right here. Vermistera Vitality and it's working. It, 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 it works. I sprayed a few drops on each one of these and a few days later I come by and just drizzle them with a little bit of water and I left them in my box as you can see they're already they're already rooted look at that they're already rooted I'm just gonna show you that it does work and my box method works real good guys but this stuff has helped promote the root growth these are no dirt just a little vitality there guys and just moisten it up every other day come in and just drizzle just a mist of water and set it and forget it all right this is my mix that we're gonna be rooting these uh, probably pretty much during the winter months I guess Coco Coir, hummus, peat moss, and that's it. Very, very light, very fluffy. We're hoping to develop a real, real good quality uh, hybrid that's going to work for our area down here in the Rio Grande Valley. There you go, guys. Vermistera Vitality. It works. You see it running upside down, and now you know you're wrong. So... Um, very well defined right here in comes back out in comes back out in little thorn right there little thorn right there little thorn that's going to be your upward all right same here wave goes down thorn wave goes back down thorn wave goes back down that will always go to the top guys um you can see it here again well defined so all these will go down here at the base throwing them in there guys so here's 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 100 cuttings easily and 
this is going to be rooted. Like I said, we've got a lot of things planned, getting a big greenhouse. But right now we're in development stages, something that we can produce that's going to help the uh, dragon fruit growers here in the Rio Grande Valley. Hopefully we can develop something good. We'll keep you posted as we go along. All right, so that being said, I am now going to get a little bit of my mix and watch what I'm going to do guys I'm just going to lay it in there we're going to lay it in there and spread this around all over and then we're just going to bounce it around in here. Just going to mix it all up. And that's going to be enough to get these things going for spring. And we're going to be all right. So, as I wet these down, Coco Coyer, the uh, peat, the mulch, the Vermistera Vitality is going to work its way down and we will have rooted plants and I'll keep an eye on them. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Here we go, guys. We're going to cut this one off. This is one that I ordered from Florida. It's Cosmic Charlie. Heck of a big fruit. Can't wait anymore. We're going to do it. All right, guys, this is our first uh, Cosmic Charlie. Look at that. Gorgeous. Looks kind of... Sporadic, quiet, and pink. All right. Mom, would you like to taste? Cut a few slices because we've got all the kids to taste this. And it's so easy to peel. That's my best part. Peel that one. Well. Well, peel it so you and your viewers can see how easy that is. Perfect. Mmm. I know how cute they are and oh. everything. I still love anything that's super purple in my room. Guys, this Those thing is favorites. delicious. Just delicious.